What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, Nashville Predators San Jose Shock series preview. Third time they've ever faced off in the playoffs. Obviously, the, the first two were 2006 and 2007. Um, you know, 2007 series, I thought Nashville should have won going away, but Steve Sullivan got hurt before the series. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. It was nine years ago. Why are we talking about it? Uh, but. You know, I, I just want to start by talking about, you know, San Jose exercised their demon. Their demon being Los Angeles. Um, San Jose Sharks prospect, graphic, uh, slash Harvard Sniper, slash friend of the power play, Colin Blackwell, tweeted a comparison. I told him I'd rip it off. That, uh, you know, it's the equivalent to uh, the Boston Bruins of the Montreal Canadiens, you know, five, six years ago. In order for the Bruins to finally break through and win, win the cup, they had to, you know, punch Montreal right in the mouth. And, uh, you know, once, once that happened... I'm not going to say winning the cup became easy, but it became due. You know, it was like, all right, we can beat them, we can beat anyone type, you know, mentality. So that's, you know, I think that's what we're seeing there with uh, with San Jose. You know, L.A. was just a thorn in the side. And obviously a very good thorn in the side because they've won two cups in the last, you know, four calendar years. So, you know, let's, let's not discredit what, what, the, what the Kings have accomplished. But, you know, San Jose is looking different. Just saying that. I'll do my actual pick at the end of it, and maybe you won't like that pick, but deal with it. Uh, likewise, on the side of the, on the other side of the, uh, you know, bracket, if you will, Nashville, beating Anaheim in Game Seven, going out to Southern California, winning Game Seven on hostile ice was uh, definitely a amazing win for the franchise. It was their first ever Game 7 played in. You know, you go out there, a team that was resurgent in the second half in terms of the Ducks. And Nashville kind of had their struggles down the stretch. <clears throat> but, you know, they figured it out, went out there and uh, and took care of business when it mattered most. So, you know, and I think Pekka Rene is really, in that third period, you know, I know he had kind of a shit regular season, but it looks like he's back on his game. And that's bad news for the Sharks because... You know, anytime you have a six foot six, two hundred twenty pound goalie that you know has the athleticism of an Olympic gymnast going out there and, and denying you on a night in night out basis, not an ideal situation. And speaking of finding your game, I mean, Colin Wilson last night in Game Seven, former BU Terrier, I might add, uh, and actually with the him and Johnny Goudreau and Jack Eichel was in order. Eichel, Goudreau, Wilson were the three best college hockey players I ever saw play in person. Just throwing that out there. But, you know, he was amazing offensively and defensively. And, uh, you know, Shea Weber, Shea Weber. You know, having the matchup between Shea Weber and Brent Burns in the series is going to be awesome. And you look at a guy like Ryan Johansson, Nashville acquired him to be that big center in the Western Conference you need to go up against a Jumbo Joe Thorne, to go up against, in the previous series, a, uh, a Ryan Getzloff. So, you know, this is kind of what Dave Foyle had in mind back in, you know, January when he pulled the trigger on the deal. You know, again, I, I love what San Jose did this season. I think Martin Jones was a good pickup. You know, and if you saw the blog I did on him, you know, any Bruins fan that thinks last year the Bruins should have kept Jones and traded Tuca needs to, um, you know, go to A, stop listening to Mike Felger, and, and B, um, you know, maybe maybe get some psychological help while you're at it. Actually, doing one means you're doing the other. You're, you're helping yourself psychologically by not listening to Felger anymore. Um, but, you know, and you look at the way Brent Burns played out of his mind this season. I don't think he got the credit he deserved on a national scale for his play. Um, and Joe Thornton having a, you know, resurgent year. Joe Pavelski's a hell of a player. I don't get to tell you guys that. You know, Marlowe had his ups and downs. And, you know, I think the last three, four years have been kind of tough for him. Uh, it seems like, it's like ever since he signed that contract extension, which I think was three years ago, um, it was just kind of an uneasy marriage, if you will. But, you know, if they're able to do what they haven't done since what they haven't done with since 2010. Let's we'll say they have won the conference final with with uh, Marlow 2011 to Marlow and, and Thornton. I think it's funny they'd won, beaten Vancouver in the conference finals in 2011. They would have played the Bruins. Would have been Joe Thornton versus the Bruins in the Stanley Cup final. But you know, I uh, all all things being said about the, the Sharks, uh, you know, again, I like what they're doing. I, I think that they've had a phenomenal regular season. They've shown that their <coughs> core nucleus isn't dead yet. But I'm going with Nashville. I got the Nashville Predators taking the series in uh, in seven games. I think, you know, you look at 
how good this Predators team is, you know, the experience they have. You know, we haven't even talked about Roman Yossi, you know, how an elite of a player he is. Philip Forsberg is the real deal. He's going to get a nice contract extension this summer. So, you know, you, you look at everything with these two teams, and uh, I think as good as San Jose has been, it comes down to goaltending, and, um, you know, I'm going to take Pekka Rene over Martin Jones every single day of the week and twice on Sunday. You know, it's like it's what you got to go with. And you know, I know people like to shit on Rene for his career numbers, but bottom line is he's a hell of a goalie, and I think he's going to be the difference maker in this series. And uh, I think Shea Weber will win the battle of the Norris Trophy, potential Norris Trophy candidates with uh, with him and, and Bernsey. Um, and I hope Colin Wilson keeps up his play because I've been a fan of Colin Wilson since 2007. So almost nine years of me rooting for Mr. Wilson. Anyway, and that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.